Hi, I'm Adam Sadagar and this is the first dev vlog of FishyBot for Elder Scrolls Online. So as you guys know, I made FishyBot for personal use. But then looking at the support it got, I decided to continue working on it for you guys. For a while, I got busy with other stuff. But now, after a long time, I'm finally getting the time to work on the bot again. In this video, I'm going to talk about the roadmap of this application. That is, what my plans are for the bot going further with the development of it. So these are the things I have planned for upcoming features. Troubleshooting guide. First of all, I have noticed a lot of you guys are contacting me on Discord asking about the issues and with configuration. Although I am really happy to talk to you guys, I should make the troubleshooting process a bit easier. For that, the first thing I will start working on is a troubleshooting guide. It will be a well organized document which will help you resolve most of the issues you encounter while using the fishy board. The FAQ section in the readme seems a bit out of date, so I will be removing that section entirely and will replace it with this document instead. Change action key option. After that, there is an issue where default action button for some players is R instead of E. So I am going to add an option to change it in FishyBot. This was recommended by Pmans GC on GitHub. Thanks for the issue, dude. If you guys have any more recommendation issues or feature requests, feel free to post it as issues on GitHub. Notification via web For now, the notification is sent through an Android app, which makes players with an iPhone not able to use that feature. For that, I am going to look into using web push notification instead. Packaging Downloading and installing the bot at the moment is extremely tedious, as you have to manually download the scripts and install their dependencies. So an automatic install would really make that process much easier. For that, I'll have to work on configuring the bot for packaging it. Graphical user interface The bot currently uses a command line interface, which is really unintuitive to use for a normal user. A graphical user interface will make the software much easier to configure. So you guys will be able to change its setting much easily and I've kept the best feature for the last. Full Auto I'm planning to make the software fully automatic. What I mean by that is, currently the bot fishes in just one hole and after it depletes, it does nothing. What I'm planning to build is, when it finishes on one hole, it automatically moves to the next one. Pretty neat, right? For now, this is all the plan I have. I will keep making devlog videos as I progress in development. As I said before, if you want any feature request or issues, you can either contact me on discord or create an issue on github or you can just comment down below. So this is it, I will see you guys later.